Welcome back from the break, Rams. I'm Delaney, your entertainment anchor, Delaney Herring, ready to spice up your life with some entertainment. All right, I have good news and I have bad news. I always like to give the bad news first. <sighs> Phil the Groundhog has seen his shadow, which means six more weeks of winter. Come on, Phil, you couldn't have given us good news on this icy winter day. No, catch me outside, how about that? Now for the good news, Queen Bee is pregnant and she's not only going to be popping out one stardom bound spawn, but two. Beyonce took to Instagram yesterday morning to announce her pregnancy with rapper husband Jay-Z. She posted a stunning pregnancy shot captioning it, we are incredibly grateful that our family will be growing by two and we thank you for your well wishes. You go Beyonce, you go. Are you a backcountry winter in sport enthusiasts? Me too. That's why I stopped by Odell's Brewing Company this Tuesday to enjoy some beautiful snow-filled films. This past week, local Fort Collins brewery Odell's Brewing Company hosted the annual Backcountry Film Festival sponsored by the Winter Wildlands Alliance. The Winter Wildlands Alliance is a national nonprofit organization dedicated to preserving winter wildlands and human-powered snow sports. The organization seeks to empower locals to connect with and influence issues surrounding their favorite backcountry areas. The festival visits more than 100 cities around the globe every winter in hopes to advocate for snow safety and outdoor education programs. So the films this year are really, really good. Um, the one with Mike Lebecki and his daughter, I don't know why, but I get teared up every time she skis down and she sees the penguins in Antarctica. Um, and then probably my top favorite one really is the snow artist at the end, just because it's so unusual and it's something I've never seen before. I'm not sure where he is. I think he's in somewhere in Scandinavia, but he literally goes out to just an empty patch of snow and just by counting paces and different things um, with his snowshoes, he'll create art a massive piece of art in the snow um, that you can't see until you get up higher. And so the whole time you can't see what he's doing. He's just counting paces and he's kind of dragging his pole around. And then he kind of climbs up the top of the hill and looks down and it just gives you chills every time. It's incredible. He made this like very intricate, perfectly measured out like snowflake in the snow. And it's, yeah, it's incredible. Um, I think uh, probably my favorite film, I don't remember the, the title of it, but it was a, a film of an uh, older gentleman, uh, a National Geographic Explorer, and he takes his daughter, uh, I think she's 11 years old, to Antarctica uh, for some backcountry skiing. Uh, and they ski down and uh, you know, they're, they're in this group of uh, penguins and they see you know, ski lions and they're just uh, you know, making trails uh, on their skis you know, around, around the ocean in our Antarctica. The festival features films produced by both professional filmmakers as well as amateur. You see a lot of just different takes on it. A lot is very professional. You can see like they've done a lot of editing. They have a lot of history with it. And some of it's just really beautiful like raw film. There are other film festivals around the state. So if you want to catch the action, visit www.winterwildlands.org. Get ready to pop, lock and drop it. Next Saturday, the Lincoln Center is hosting its 22nd annual Hip Hop Explosion on February 11th, starting at 7 p.m. Back by popular demand, they'll be playing hip hop hits from every generation. I remember dropping it like it's hot at middle school dances to apple bottom jeans, so I for one can't wait for this night filled with hip hop throwbacks to take me back to the time when the beats were sick and the dance moves sicker. It's no secret that many football fans or halftime show fans or Puppy Bowl fans choose to drink on Super Bowl Sunday, but CTV wants to remind you that your actions Sunday and every day have impact. This Sunday, be careful when driving. Your chances of being involved in an alcohol-related crash over double on Super Bowl Sunday, according to the LA Times. And whatever you do, don't get behind the wheel of a vehicle if you are under the influence. Find a des designated driver, order Lyft or Uber, or walk. Don't let your friends drive if they're under the influence. CTV wants everyone to return back to campus on Monday, and don't forget that Rams take care of Rams. Be safe this weekend, and have a good night, everyone.